morning everybody it is saturday may 12th um we are near mount rainier national forest we're actually in national park or sorry we're in national forest here near mount rainier national park we're doing off the carbon river we're going to do, do surprise lake today um, we're on the trail on the road that leads up to summit lake which we were thinking of but it is a sunny day i've done this trail a few times i think this is my fourth or fifth time every time we've been here it's been cloudy and overcast it makes it kind of a cool sitting up at the lake I'll, uh, i might have a picture of the surprise lake where it's the like, foggy cloudy and stuff it's really kind of cool but supposedly today when we get up there we're going to have some great views of mount rainier so that's why we decided to just go ahead and do this one multiple water crossings at one point i even brought flip-flops because it is shin deep or so been rocky so it's not really fun doing it barefoot so I just bought a dollar store flip flops to use um, so we're gonna head up the road here uh, sorry I'm just finishing my breakfast um, yeah hopefully it's a beautiful day out it's about 54 degrees right now highs today are supposed to be in the low 70s um, looking forward to it feels like I've been forever since I've really been out on the trail much um, yeah really looking forward to it so we'll see you guys out there yeah, so you can see fire rings and stuff so this is basically an old logging road um, and it's popular with four by fours four wheelers and stuff um, I've seen some pretty nice ones in the area before um, first of the little waterfalls coming up here um, oh, up over here it is so this one's gonna be about five and a half miles or so round trip <laughs> nothing too bad uh, a little bit of climb at the beginning. We started out at a little over 3,300 feet. There's about 1,200 feet of elevation gain total. Ooh, this is washed out from the last time I was here. Let's see if I can see that. So this was not exposed last time I was here. Through there, some shots of the falls for you guys. Let's put some sunscreen on here pretty quick. And our first view of Mount Rainier. Back and just uh, There we go. I'm going to put the camera on get some footage of it from the other way because this is our first sunny day glimpse of Rainier on this trail ever. Alright, back to me. So conspicuously absent from today's hike. So we've got Debbie, Steve, uh, Robert, and uh, Stanley with us. Bonnie's not with me today because uh, on the last hike, which I still have to post a video for that one. Um, hopefully by the time you see this, it'll be posted. Um, we were doing Capitol Falls, or not Cap Capitol State Park. We are doing the loop around Larch Mountain that I just did a couple months ago. So I wasn't doing any video that day. Um, there's four of us, Debbie, Bonnie, Tracy, and myself. And we were about five miles into the eight mile loop that we were doing when Bonnie tripped on a rock, came down hard, and well, in the end, it turns out she dislocated her elbow. So she is out of commission for a while, unfortunately. Um, how long will depend on how soon before the hiking itch hits her. Um, balancing that against the safety of keeping the elbow from further injury. So that's uh yeah. So if you don't see her popping up to say hi today, that is why. So this is kind of a fun trail. Um, it's got a lot of variety. Um, we're going to be coming up hopefully shortly here on our first sort of water crossing, and I'm hoping the water's high enough. It's kind of cool. The winds it goes around a uh, switchback that sometimes floods the whole trail and it's like fjording up stream the whole way oh, not really. you know, in the water you climb on rocks and go around the edge but it's kind of fun so hopefully we will come up to that here pretty soon okay so we're kind of coming up close to the one of the first crossings and like i was thinking with this time of year 
So that straight ahead is not the creek, that's the trail. The creek actually runs across there. They've got these, it's kind of cool the way they've got it set up with these logs for the crossing, like grills, so that most of the water doesn't make it past here. Uh, you can see there's some going down trail, but that's mostly from coming from over here. So yeah, so we're we'll switched back up that way, and then the falls is up to our left, up that way. Not too far. This is kind of a fun little spot. Oh, some of the logs are getting a little beat up, but... Oh, another view, sh good shot of the mountain. There we go. And that lower falls, this is what feeds that lower falls we just got. Alright, I'm going to take some pictures. One of the things I've never really played around with is the waterproof part of my phone. My Galaxy S8 Active. I'm going to do a little underwater video here. can't focus. There we go. Alright, we'll see how that turns out. Alright, so they're wimping out and they're taking a uh, following the creek mostly rather than rock hopping. You figure I have my waterproof boots on for a reason, right? So if I can do this without falling while I'm holding the camera. So I took my poles in last night. Usually they live in my Jeep ready for use. But I took them in last night to take the snow baskets off for the season. And I forgot to put them back. And not used to them being not in the Jeep. I didn't think about it this morning. Let's see. Alright, so for balance, I'm going to try to keep both hands free. So I'm going to put the phone away for a bit. It's pretty cool. Nice little camping spot up here. This is uh, part of the National Forest. We can do this first camping up here. This might be a good spot to come up one of these days. Soon, maybe. Alright, back in a bit. Well, I'm not sure that way was any easier than the way I went. So at the top of this, okay, another piece of climb of a switchback. Um, there's actually like a small lake almost up there that's caused by this natural damming that this time of year is probably going to cause you know, at least a foot of water that we have to cross here. So we'll see what it's like in a little bit. Water crossing, uh, but it's also going to be a snow crossing today. Um, I haven't checked what elevation we're at yet. We're probably just over 4,000, if not a little higher. I should have checked that before I... I'll check it and then do a screenshot and throw it in the corner or whatever. And there's been 4x4s through here somewhat recently. I don't think we'll get lucky that the water crossing will be frozen make it easier. But it doesn't mean it's going to make it for a chilly crossing. Alright, I'm going to pause till we get closer. We are. So, we're just shy of 4,000 feet now. It's funny, the snow's on this side, but not on that side. You could try to cross on the side there. I know a couple people have attempted it in the past. It's just a little too deep with my ankle boots 
Actually, if I had worn my other banners, I might have been able to make it across. Um, so, yeah. So, we're going to prepare to cross this. It's not too far. It should be pretty quick. But you can get across on the side there. Carefully. We'll see. But Debbie just decided, I'm going to just do... I paid a dollar for these flip-flops at the dollar store. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make use of them. Get my money's worth all, dang it. All right, I gotta throw my pack back on. I'll catch up with those guys. Let's see if I can get it to focus on there. Yeah, maybe if I do that. So we're getting some great glimpses of Mount Rainier now. And there's some other peaks behind us. I didn't check to see what that is yet. Um, let's see if I can get where we can see it. Over. So here where it kind of goes up and then across, right about there. Let's see if I can get it to focus on there. Uh, that's Tolmy Peak. There's a fire lookout tower on the other side of the ridge from here. We're going to try to hike up to later this summer. The road up to there is not open yet. It'll be another probably five weeks, I think. So maybe late June, early July, we'll try to get up there. It's a pretty popular hike. Mowich Lake is over there as well. Uh, but yeah, so we just came across our first other group of hikers just passing with a couple of dogs. We're dawdling, taking photos. But it's kind of how that view just never gets old. I've been living on here about four years now, and uh, almost four years. And I'll be driving down the highway or like on the road to here, you come up through uh, Bonnie Lake, you crest the road into town, and it's like boom, right there. Great shot if not for like the power lines and the light pole and the street signal that's in the way, but yeah, it's just. It's just so prominent on the on the horizon when you're driving around this area. Um, probably similar result, you know, for folks like down south near St. Helens and Hood and Baker up to the north and stuff. Just but Rainier itself is just a singular peak in this area that you know, it's just oh, it's just cool. So, all right, we're maybe a mile from the lake. And hopefully we will get some spectacular views while we're up there as well. So we'll check in a bit later. Snowshoed this um, a couple years ago now. Remember the slide here? And it was just, it's so open that the snow, there was a snow slide that just really did not make it worth risking passing at the time because that is a bit of a drop down that way. So we camped out there, had lunch before turning back. All right, so now all of a sudden, we found some snow. <coughs> huh? They stopped right about there. So whoever drove up here stopped there and turned around. We're not too far. We're probably less than a quarter mile. So we'll charge through this and see what the lake's like. Well, we can follow the shoreline around here. Or at least try. But see, the mountain's right here from our angle. So this is where we usually stop for lunch. There is some open ground down here. So, yeah. So let's see, and of course from here, the mountain is behind the trees, right there. So we're gonna to try to follow the shoreline or there's another trail back a little ways. We may double back to and see if we can't get to a spot over there that gives us an unobstructed view of the mountain over there. And if we find it, I will share it with you guys. Out over here on the side, we got a little bit of view over in here. No reflections like some people have talked about, but it's like a good a spot as any. 
to stop for lunch. If I can get over here without falling in the water. There's Debbie and Steve eating. So I'm gonna park it for a while and have a little snack. When you're hiking around here, just all of a sudden, boom, you get greeted with a nice shot like that. Just stunning. All right, we took a little break for lunch and stuff, and we're heading, uh, making our way back down. And hopefully, we're gonna have some time to try and find the Clipper, old Clipper copper mine, uh, before we head home. Oh, now uh, it's gonna be a quick trip back. Only a couple more miles to go. Um, and get that to show up. There we go. So I didn't finish um, the story about Bonnie getting hurt earlier. So um, lesson learned there is just always be prepared with the basics, um, some first aid stuff, things like that. Um, what we were able to do is, you know, uh, She's, she's done mountaineer first aid training. I've done some basic first aid training over the years. So that kicked in. We got her mobilized, the arm. She wasn't swelling up really at all. Uh, she could move her fingers. So we weren't too concerned. We didn't really think it would be broken, but she was just in excruciating pain. And um, gave her a little bit of painkillers. She had an extra shirt. I was able to use to fashion a sling to help keep her arm immobile. And um, from there, so we really got lucky. We we're five miles in on a eight mile hike, but we had just passed the forest road. Uh, we were maybe one, less than 200 yards down from the road. And that road, uh, by backtracking to that road, uh, Debbie stayed with her. And we, me and uh, Tracy, went back to the road, hiked the road back, and it was a little under two miles to get back to the car. And from there, we were able to drive back and pick them up. So both Debbie and Bonnie had those little Mylar emergency blankets and wrapped her up in those and some extra of her extra jacket and stuff. Uh, she was probably going into shock a little bit. And so she was just, her body temp was just dropped. Even, it wasn't bad out, it was in the 40s with a light rain. Um, but even bundled up, she was getting cold. So the blankets, the little space blanket things really helped. It's a really cheap and easy thing to pack no matter what you're using. I have a couple in this pack here. I have even my little leg pack that I use. I keep one in there. That's just a easy emergency thing to have. Sorry. And look at these views. Let's see. Yeah, another great view of the mountain. Wow, every time. Um, so yeah, but we were able to then slowly drive out and get her to the emergency room where we found out it was dislocated. So um, those little basics are so easy to leave behind. Not thinking about it, you know, this is just an easy day trip, a little loop, nothing too remote or anything. And thinking, eh, what can go wrong? So. Well, lots of things can at any time uh, when you least expect it. So there's 10 essentials. Um, REI's got a good 10 essentials list you can look for. Um, the one thing I always add to my 10 essentials list is a whistle. Um, yeah. So we got through it fine. Um, unfortunately, she's just not going to be, it's going to be at least four or five weeks before she's probably out on a decent trail again, unfortunately. So... I will, oops, almost dropped the phone. I will soldier on and hike on in her honor and hope I don't get in too much trouble for hiking without her. No, she's good about that. So um, so we'll still be doing some trails, uh, some easy stuff, parks and stuff like that while she recovers. Um, we got a little park we're probably gonna try to go to tomorrow. Stuff like that, but she's just, can't risk any sort of trip or stumble or anything that would just totally re-injure that elbow. So and she can't really use the hand or anything much yet. So another 
Mountain View. All right, so probably not going to do a whole lot more video before we get back. And like I said, we're going to see if we can find, supposedly we go up the forest and the main forest road a little bit. And then um, there's a side road that we can find that should take us to that clipper mine. So hopefully we'll find that. And if so, we'll uh, share some video of that along the way. All right. Well, if not, we'll just check in when we get back to the trailhead and say our goodbyes. I lied. So we're back at the water crossing. Um, I could put the flip flops back on, but I'm going to see if I can make it this way just for something different. Steve and Robert and Stanley made it this way on the way out, so I can make it on the way back. Uh, I'm not going to make it while holding the phone, though, so you guys will just have to trust me. Popular with the 4x4s, like I said, so we got our nice little Jeep coming up this way now. I don't do these vertical videos that often, but this is kind of a cool little waterfall worth taking a look at. We're currently on the road trying to see if we can find there maybe a turn off road that could get us to the clipper mine, the old copper or uh, vein. And we stopped this, saw this, and just had to stop and get some photos. So, we think we found the road that'll take us up to the mine. There it is right there. So that's where we came up from. So we're going to check it out. Hopefully it's less than a mile. And not too much climbing because um, I took a little tumble coming down that last, by that waterfall. And did this. Let's see if I can... Up and back. That. So I'm a little scuffed up. So when we get back, I will clean these up again too and um, change shoes and stuff because my shoes are still feet are still wet. <laughs> so right about there is a rope going up that hill that I think some people have used to climb up the hill. It's fairly steep and rocky. A lot of grow them up there so but there seems to be a bit of a trail here we're gonna see how far this gets us we're only like I don't know quarter mile or so up from the road but I'm gonna need both hands for this so it was not that bad of a climb you can see whoop, that's the road down there up the hill a little bit so there's the rope again that people have been using for shortcut I might try taking that down um, there's Debbie and Steve and Stanley coming up. And we came up here and there it is. It's not much to look at out here. It still looks like some rails on the ground. It's just an old copper vein. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna turn this off. I'm gonna pull my, uh, get my headlamp out. Probably my pack out here. All right, so we are deep inside the mine now, and we have water coming, there's water running through the bottom. Uh, you can see there's still the old wooden tracks, pipes, I don't know what the pipes were for. <coughs> see some of the veins, different things still in there. Oh yeah, there's a crack up here where water is just Filling in from somewhere up above. 
Hit this one. I have to pause and go the ones here. Oh, this is a, a greenish tint of copper. Overall, you can walk in there upright. Well, you can get some water to filter. What if it'll taste like sucking on a penny? Not bad? Yeah. Well, the old clipper mine. Supposed to go back about a quarter mile total, so uh, Stanley's quite a ways up ahead of us right now, so we'll see if we can catch up to him. So this was an interesting crossing on the way over. Huh? Oh. Um, since my feet were already wet, I just kind of took a shortcut. I tried my best not to step on slippery rocks again. Get across and videotape these guys. Hey, Debbie! Stanley's the last one. Stanley, you want another pole? Oh. Teamwork. We thought this was going to be a nice short hike up here, so he only brought one pole up in the car. All right, everybody made it across. Woo! All right, everybody, thanks for taking along. That was our trip to Surprise Lake and Clip with a little detour over to Clipper Mine. I'm gonna put some links and some stuff up about Clipper Mine um, that I found. Not a lot about it, but I found a few things. Um, and maybe some information on how to find it if you're ever interested. It's actually not that hard. Um, not a, it's a nice little trek with a little water crossing and a little scrambling and some other fun stuff. So just watch your head, uh, watch the clearance. I bonked my head probably at least four times low clearance in there um but yeah thanks for taking along i'm going to get back to the jeep and change my shoes i am squishing my way down the trail back to the car now um clean my scrapes up again real quick and then we'll be heading home so just another 
Well, not, uh, it's just another beautiful uh, weekend here, and now it's May, springtime here in Washington. So, um, subscribe and stuff, like it, like the video if you can, things like that, the usual, you know, self serving, uh, gratuitous kind of stuff. And check it out, leave any comments or questions, and hopefully we'll catch you on the trail next time.